So I one time went over and tried to like home edit them. <laughs> and I decided that my relationship with my brother was far more important than, than their, their <laughs> house being <laughs> as organized as possible. So I think it's what? good that these women are outside of the family, yes. outside of anyone you know, and they come in and they like help you because it's an emotional process learning to be organized in that way. Well, and to purge, you know, so one of the big parts of the show, they sort of have these four pillars of how they do every space. So they, First, they, they, they look at it, then they edit it, then they categorize it. And, but purging is a big part of that. And, you know, see, I am such a purger that um, that part would be easy for me. But on the show, you see, you know, it's really hard for people to, to let go of even Tupperware. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. When you get to some of these kitchens, when you watch later on. I've watched the whole first season now, and I'm hoping they're going to do a second one. And the real reason I'm hoping they're going to do a second season is because this is a shout out to my two new best friends, <laughs> Clea and Joanna. Please come to Gretchen's house because I need you to help me organize my home office. And there's actually a lot of sentiment involved in this. I have not organized it for the last four and a half years since I brought my lawsuit against Roger Ailes at Fox News. And so it would be really cathartic for me to to actually do this. I have stuff everywhere, which is so not like me. And, and everyone who's listening to this, you've seen this because normally I'm in that office when I'm videotaping this podcast. True. And it doesn't look great in the, in the background. And I would love for them to come and, and help me get organized. Number one, to make it look good. But number two, um, emotionally, I have not been able to do it myself. Mm -hmm.